You know, what we want to do is uh, a very simple, simplistic uh, message about Alzheimer's and breast cancer and raising awareness and much needed research funding towards every single province. So we wanted to incorporate Canada as a whole, but as well as incorporate the regions within it, running from west to east and all the way back again, just in case someone missed it along the way, and as well doing it solo and unsupported. So those causes could really have a, an opportunity to stand out full force. So everything goes right towards the provinces, everything goes towards the provincial chapters, so it goes right towards them through a website, fastcitycanada.com, and when uh, they make those donations, it goes right towards them. So I'm more of just a portal. We've raised roughly, in my guess, around $20,000, um, and of course the journey's been uh, unique. In a, in a sense, you know, not everything goes as planned, but of course you still want to incorporate as many things as possible. So I have a grandmother who's 89 years of age as of uh, today. A few months before the run began, she was diagnosed with Alzheimer's and planning and preparation kind of took in place. And so when she was diagnosed, I said that I would run one way with a support vehicle the whole nine yards. As I began to train and do more and more research, I began to realize that your run needed to stand out. So I went and got to uh, talked to a mentor of mine, Dr. Tom Owen, who was an advocate of breast cancer, and asked for his opinion and advice about how to make it uh, unique um, in a media spin way, and I found out that he'd passed away. Um, being an advocate of breast cancer and always pushing it in, uh, in a way towards me, I said that I would run there and back solo and unsupported for breast cancer and Alzheimer's in honor of those two. My whole goal was always to be as Canadian as possible and do everything and announce it on a, a worldwide scale so that we could actually see results and it was just breast cancer and Alzheimer's which affected me personally so I said you know it's time to get that on a national level when most people end up thinking that humans are, are not as unique friendly and those kind of things it's those people that end up helping you out I've never been in a, a dire situation where you know someone wasn't there to help me out or anything along those lines we've encountered wildlife throughout the entire thing and everyone's kind of kept me safe and as far as motivation goes it it's you it's the people here right now that are watching this sitting there going well maybe I should help out